We're 22 years old. We're the youngest brokers in our office. Do you want to put an offer in? If you want right now, I can send her over the disclosures. She just said knock it down to 240 and let's see where it gets us. Drag never stops. Uh, I can verify with the listing agent on all that information. Every day we're always going. You gotta keep up with him, and a lot of people cannot do that. A lot of people are set in mediocrity, and Zach's not one of those people. We have pretty much the same exact mindset. We have the same personality. Oh, Jeff, on no. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, so just he right. can literally pick a conversation with anybody. Do that as well. What about like so super <laughs> 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 Zach and I are pretty much on the same level when it comes to mentality. Consistency in real estate is everything. Well, we always work out every single day throughout the week. Unfortunately, real estate's not a contact sport, so when we come to the gym, we can get our aggression out, that anxiety, that stress. And it just puts us in the right mindset to, you know, just go throughout the day and just go 110% in everything. We're usually here about two hours every single day. You come and hit a machine for two hours and you're gonna feel good afterwards and you're gonna be able to focus. Just got done with cardio. Hello, William Success Realty. This is Laura. How can I help you? My name is Laura. I'm the director of First Impressions. Yeah, hold on one second, please. When we come in, everybody knows we're here. Oh my gosh, look who's here. Whenever we come to the office, we talk to Laura right away. We basically just come in the office to bother Laura. They put a useful twist on a profession that is very difficult. Greg and Zach make the office such a better place. Their energy really brings the office staff to life. You know, I, it has taken village to get us to where we're at. We're severely grateful for that. Typically when we come into the office, everybody calls us, you know, frick or frack. The twins. A major pain in the ass. Or the brothers. Like, Except when we're posting, it's the only thing that's important. Oh, sh I mean to do like this. I didn't mean to do that, guys. We have a reputation around here, so. Oh, like. Right, and we yeah. hit that house that was right over there with the lady that said she had cataracts or she has her eyes dilated or something oh, like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, right by the lake. Okay. So let's go hit those mm -hmm. today. Yeah, there's like before anybody else three gets of them. Home. Yeah, there's like three of them right there, so we can definitely hit those right now. All right. All right, let's go. Let's go do it. So right now we're going to go hit some houses. We're basically going to for sale by owners within the area and hitting them in person versus calling them. It's a much more effective way to actually earn their business if you actually show up on their doorstep. And it keeps control of the deal. I just had How much was the one in Inverness? $590 or $569? No, I think it was like $739. Cut, cut by $30,000. 30? 30? Seven days in the market, they listed at 789. Okay, fine. Wanna go get a listing? Yeah. You wanna go get a listing? Yeah, let's do it. Let's get a listing. <laughs> well, we're gonna go out in force and hit these houses, so here we go. Right now we're going out to hit these addresses for these for sale by owners. You know, the level of danger kind of rises when we go out here because we don't know what these people do. Do they got a gun? Do we roll up on a house that we don't know who lives there? You know, there's a lot of issues that could come when we go out and do this. So right now we're gonna go to Barrington, Inverness, Palatine, kind of like around those areas to hit some for sale by owners because we basically hit every single one um, around us, like in Algonquin, McHenry, Huntley. I had a old GM that used to tell me that if you don't have enough business, you're not getting in front of a lot of people. And we come out here and we do this in force. Zach and I are usually pretty good about hitting the houses and getting people's attention. So we're gonna go out here and we're gonna try to drum up some listings this way and uh, hopefully not get shot. So 
Um, I would say this is pretty dangerous knocking on for sale owners' doors because you never know who you're like coming in contact with. You don't know if you don't know their past. You don't know what kind of situation they're in. And a lot of people have like different lives. And a lot of the times when you knock at people's doors, they're in a lower state than you guys, than the people knocking the door. So when we come in, we have like high energy, but not too high. Usually before we hit the house, I call out a two minute warning. And that's kind of to get Zach and I in the mindset that we're about to hit this house. There's no turning back. We're going to that front door. And uh, you know, we're gonna try to leave there with that listing, but we're also gonna try to leave with our lives. Basically have the energy to like, hopefully uplift them and put them in at least a better mood for like 10 to 20 minutes. Like that moment of an adrenaline rush, we're all in, we're not turning back, so. Okay, two minute warning. You ready? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. 100%? Yes, Are you gonna get this listing? Be better. It was for the camper. It was for the camper. I know how hard it is to try to make it, and I know how hard it is to prove it to yourself every single day, to go out here and to not only do a job, but to survive. And a year ago, I was in a much different place, physically, emotionally, spiritually. You know, when I got into real estate, the game changed. It was like a new toy. It was a different excitement. It gave me the ability to build something that before I couldn't. I was limited by others, their abilities. And, you know, I think a lot of folks failed me. I had lost passion of what I was doing before. And a lot of it correlated with people. And so, you know, to go out and do this every single day with the mentality that it's yours and that it's going to be yours till the day you quit really changes the game. So a year ago from now, I was kind of in a confused state. It was a year where I was still working at Lifetime. And that was it. I wasn't doing anything else. But and I knew that after going to school for two years, that real estate was my key. I did not know a year ago that we would have all these listings and all these relationships built and all of these new people met. And just having all this support, basically, from all, every, all the realtors in our office and just having the support from all of our friends and family. I mean, and I'm really grateful for that. And I just can't wait to see where we are next year.